Donald Trump's trademark air confidence has been accompanied by an unusual sense of anxiety at the close the 2024 Iowa contest. Florida Gov. Nikki Haley are trying to deny the former president such a decisive victory would cement his third consecutive Republican presidential nomination. While campaigning in Iowa over the weekend, Trump warned supporters that their votes would not be needed given his commanding lead in the race. Forget the polls that show us up 35 points, Trump told supporters at a weekend rally in Mason City. Act like we're one point behind. Iowa's primary role in presidential nominating contest has long been as much about narrowing the field as choosing eventual nominee. The stakes are high for DeSantis and Haley, who are making their final pushes this week, including a CNN debate in Iowa that Trump skipped to pull off a strong enough result to extend the Republican primary race beyond Jan. 15. A landslide victory could put the former president on an unstoppable march toward the nomination. But much less impressive win, or even a surprising defeat, could open the door to much longer nomination fight and raise questions about Trump's electability. I think his only danger is that people think he might not need their votes. And that's not true, Brenna Byrd, Iowa's attorney general and one of Trump's biggest supporters, said in an interview, the huddles are all about the fielding game. The only thing that matters is who shows up and votes on convention night. The outcome of Iowa caucuses will help determine the course and duration of race. A fierce battle is underway between DeSantis and Haley not only emerge as the leading alternative to Trump but also show that perhaps at least half of Republicans would prefer the party move beyond Trump. What you can do Iowa will resonate throughout this country, DeSantis told supporters at a campaign stop in Waukee. He repeated that phrase as he traveled around the state his final push, imploring Republicans to do so. A careful choice considering the general election. I don't think Donald Trump can ultimately win an election. Despite basing much of his campaign on Iowa, DeSantis appears to be managing expectations for his performance by assuring voters that he will not drop out of the race if he loses the state. But one of biggest questions about the race in final week was whether a multi-million dollar organization backing DeSantis, a super PAC called Never Back Down, would pay off. Florida's governor handed over nearly his entire ground operation to this group, which had been in disarray for months. Bob Vander Plotz, president of the Family Leader, an influential Christian group that supports DeSantis and campaigned with him in Iowa, said he believes his grassroots organization will come in at least a strong second place. This guy is well organized for an Iowa caucus, said Vander Plotz. Who believes DeSantis' strategy of visiting the state's 99 counties has allowed him to re-